Good morning, New Rochelle. This is Superintendent Jonathan Raymond. It is so great to be able to welcome you back to the 2022-23 school year. I hope you've all had a great summer, had a chance to relax, uh, energize, rejuvenate, connect with family and friends, and, and now here we are back in school just at the cusp of another school year. Uh, I am so glad to be here. I am live in studio, live online with you uh, today, and I have a very special guest with me this morning. Uh, but first, I want to say, again, so great to be here. I can't wait to get our kids back in school tomorrow. It's great that you're back here today. I see preparations are underway to get those classrooms. Everything is sparkling and shining. Big kudos to all of our teams that worked so hard this summer to do all the little things. And now it's great to have the whole team back. So uh, grab a cup of coffee, grab whatever, whatever you have, and um, we're going to be with you for a few minutes. And now I wanted to introduce my special guest. I have uh, Board of Education President Will Iannuzzi, but uh, you know, more important, uh, right? Will is a, he's a new Rochelle resident, um, born and raised. And so I want to you know, have you talk a little bit about your story, Will, and, yeah. and say hi. Mr. Raymond, Superintendent, thank you so much. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. William Iannuzzi, President of the Board of Education. I'm so excited to be here this morning with you all. I, I grew up in New Rochelle, born and raised. I went to Daniel Webster Elementary School, Albert Leonard Middle School, New Rochelle High School, and I guarantee some of you out there watching probably taught me in my many years in the school district. <laughs> um, I'm just so excited to be here and, and join you in the opening day of schools. Uh, I know the last couple of years have been very difficult. And on behalf of the Board of Education, we thank you so much for your dedication, for your hard work, and everything you've done for our district. Um, myself, I personally love back to school. Um, at my job where I work, we are also planning for our back to school initiatives this week. Uh, we open on Monday, so I'm just excited to clean my building and, and, and put together activities for my kids. So I'm glad to be able to share that experience with many of you who are doing that today. Great, great. Again, welcome, Will. And uh, we're, we're, we're thrilled. We're thrilled to have you, you know, helping to lead our, our board and, and our, whole, our whole team in the school district. Talk a little bit about, you know, as, as you see it, what are some of your hopes and dreams uh, for this school year, you know, for the school district? That's, that's a great question. <laughs> so, I mean, for myself and for the board, I just, first I want to say that the board this year is amazing. We are so much more... Uh, put together and so much more collegial and, and working together to solve many issues that are facing our district in partnership with the superintendent and administration. My hopes and dreams for this year, I really want each kid to come into our buildings and create that adult connection, gather opportunities they wouldn't have if they didn't come to our amazing school district. Mm -hmm. I think that's most important to me. I mean, these kids have suffered so much the last couple of years, and I really want them to be able to experience things that are just out of this world and mm -hmm. by coming to our school district they were able to do this right right that's great that's great you know i think we're again we're really fortunate that we have um as i go around the community i i see so many people that have have been born here grown up here went to our schools now working in our school district i think it i think it's what makes new rochelle really special and people have a real love and a connection for the city, can you talk a little bit? Yeah, about, I mean, about I mean, for myself, if if I didn't have that experiences coming to our schools in this district, I wouldn't be here right now. Right. I could be anywhere else, but I love New Rochelle. I I love the experiences I had coming through the school district. I mean, I was in uh, Pave Theater. I was in Kaleidoscope at Webster. I was president of the Italian Club my junior year in New Rochelle High School. So those are just experiences that I was able to participate in and really reminisce about and I mean just walking through our schools we have such amazing schools mm. just infrastructure wise but the program wise science research pave um, our sports teams I had the chance to um, attend the varsity soccer game at New Rochelle High School on Friday and they won 4-0 right. and it's a testament to the amazing work our teachers and our, our coaches right. are putting in the yeah. kids yeah big 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 win by the football team too football team as well yeah. yes that's right that's great that's great you know, I think, I think as what I shared with our administrators last week, um, you know, this is a very special year. It's my second year. Um, and, um, you know, so much 
occurred last year and we really pushed through a lot yeah. and now we're at a different place and when we were with the administrators last week it just felt like you know a year ago it was our first time meeting and it was the first time that many of them had been in the same room together so I feel like you know we have so much momentum and so I I shared with them and I gave them last year you know the sunflower and yeah. you know the sunflower is still uh, alive and well as you can see and it, it really speaks to the uniqueness and the stick to itiveness when it comes to really educating and developing our children. And so so this year I gave them this this multicolored heart which is actually a bunch of puzzle pieces in in many different colors in the shape of a heart all connected and I and I shared with them a little story that it, I really wear this pin and I wanted them to wear, to wear the pin and have the pin for for two reasons. First of all, that our team comes together right with so many unique skills and specializations and roles you know we really are unique but that together right if we if we do our best every day and we work together and we are connected um, that there's no telling what we can do and so it was really important that you know while we have individual roles and responsibilities and we do them to the best of our ability and we try to get a little better at that every day but that working together that that being connected the collective efficacy was really really important yeah. and then the then the heart and and you know what i what i emphasized with them was that um when we the difference between a good classroom and a great great classroom and a good s- school and a great school and a good school district and a and a great school district is is love and that when we bring that extra element you know there isn't anything that we can't do in working together but then for the second reason right you know you know as if not more important is that our our children and our students they come to us from different backgrounds different experiences different 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 cultures races you know from all different places in the world um and that's their specialness that's what makes them so so unique and bringing them and finding ways t- to get them connected connected to school connected to the classroom to connected to the neighborhood whatever they're finding ways to get their interests to really connect them with the with the learning process was was really part of that but then also that our what you know i think what our kids most most want is they want to feel they want to feel um heard they want to feel seen respected they want us to be proud of them they want us to believe in them they want us to challenge them and hold them to high expectations and they want us to love them and so for me this year you know that's what this pin embodies you know f- for all of us working together in support of, of our children and for our kids a good reminder of how special unique connected and how much they yeah, want love i i love that a lot i mean we're all one piece of the puzzle and if you're missing that piece it doesn't work right and right. i i love that the, yeah. the analogy i mean you really hit it on the head yeah. the kids are, they're looking for that love they're looking for that uh, person to talk to to go to to be able to to talk to i mean from just in my experiences during the last couple of years is that a lot of kids lost that connection right. right they lost that feeling of someone cared about them and i think this is the year we're back to right. we're back to normal this year right yeah we're coming back to normal and we're going to be stronger than ever i think you're right i think you're right you know labor day has always been a very special time for me um you know when i was in school and playing sports we had this one coach and um you know we would have been back in practice for a, a week week and a half and um you know labor day morning somehow was always beautiful and sunny and shining and uh we'd be out 7 in the morning on the field and we'd hear from from a distance a couple hundred yards away this this voice screaming oh here he is again lucky people lucky people and he'd go through this whole whole routine about how all of our other classmates and peers were were doing anything but being on a practice field at 7 in the morning you know you know tired sore wearing wet equipment um but as he would always end he would say but they're not lucky people cuz they don't get to spend labor day with me and so i think about that and i realize you know this work we do this is this is this is the lord's work this is the most important work and and how lucky are we that we get to wake up every day and and work with kids right and to help to help shape and guide and guide the future now we know this is really hard work and as i said earlier it's it's heart work too but it's really special and then, and 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 we're really lucky so i just wanted to share that no i you. mean uh, for my it's actually it's it's funny so i have a bachelor's degree in accounting 
And I mean, if Miss Amato was still working for the New Rochelle High School, she'd be like, what are you doing right now? Why aren't you in accounting? But uh, it's, I, I fell in love with working with kids right. and being able to make a difference and uh, creating opportunities for them, especially in my job and, and now working on the Board of Education. Um, it's just, it's amazing work that we right. do. And I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm excited to be a part working with you, working right. with all our teachers and administrators, because yeah. we are, are able to make differences. And I think that is probably the greatest thing is be able to make a difference in a child's right, life. Right. Um, when, when we were at the, uh, the summer graduation at New Rochelle High School the other day, I, I said a quote from my favorite movie, uh, Bronx Tale. And uh, the quote is, uh, the saddest thing in life is wasted potential. Right. And I, I say this all the time to my kids at work because we are all born with the same potential to do amazing things. It's just what we do in order to, to reach those goals. Right, right, right. Yeah. I think that's going to be the last word. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks for Thank all you, you and, the, and the board do. Thanks for you. Thank you for your leadership and your support. Um, I want to say thank you, team. Uh, thanks for all the work you do. Uh, thanks for this amazing school year we're going to have. And, and, just, and just know that, you know, together we are connected. We are, we are one new Rochelle. Have a great rest of your day, a great start to the school year. Can't wait to see you in school and around the city. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.